Hello everyone, welcome to Learn About Bloom. In this video, we will discuss another little good problem that is the find k closest element. So this is the medium level problem and we will understand how this question is done and how we can solve this question easily. So before moving on, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure to subscribe to Learn About Bloom for regular little good videos like this. The question says, we are given a sorted integer array error okay that's an array given to us and two integers k and x fine those are two given to us now we need to return the k closest integers to x in the array the result should be sorted in ascending order so we should also need to know that the result must be in ascending orderly sorted fine so what it means actually is if a, say an integer a is closer to x then integer b how do you define that? It's defined as a minus x, that's absolute, less than b minus x. Uh, if if that is the case, then we know it's, it's closest to. So see, over here, 3 is the value of x. So from 3, who is closest? 2 is closest and uh, 4 is closest, right? So these two are closest. Like the dis distance between them is smaller. So that's what we need to find. Or in case the both are both the distances are same. So we know that 2 and 4 are having the same distance. It's fine. So this is like the case we have, and we need to have it sorted in ascending order. So you know the ultimate answer, we get it sorted in kind of like an ascending order, fine. So that's how we go ahead with it. Now, uh, the main question over here is how do we solve this? Like how do we approach this question? Now, uh, let's forget about this length k, fine. Let's forget about this length k. And what we are left with right now is See, we, we have only one over here, fine? We have only one over here. So with that, if we need to find an element, uh, find an element, that's one element, closest to three. So how do you do that? So one thing, like we need to search for an element, right? So once we need to search for an element, it's obviously the best way to go with binary search, right? Now, somehow we will implement binary search because we'll search for a, a single element which is closest to a given element x, fine. Now, how do we do that? We simply find like uh, how, how exactly we can do that. We will uh, like go through the whole array and then find a mid of it and see if the mid is closer to the x or mid is far away to the x. Like we will find in that manner, right? Now, that's the normal way to find and that's like exactly what uh, uh, binary search works, right? The question over here is a bit tricky. What do we need to do? We need a range of, uh, we need uh, it a range of this k number of elements, fine? So let's consider it in a different manner. Let's consider this as a sliding window, fine? A sliding window, which will help us, well, a window of like four, uh, like k number of elements, which will slide through our array and find out which element is kind of having uh, like which are the four or five elements? It's like why a sliding window is helpful is the idea is it is sorted array. Fine. Uh, if if we move uh, a bit towards more towards left, it will be having a far distance. It will be move uh, a bit towards right. It may have a not the correct answers we may have. So a sliding window will be something like a window we will move accordingly as needed. Okay, a window of like k number of elements, and we can select those k number of elements directly. So that's the idea, see. So in that case, what we can do is like, as I said, a sliding window. Now, why, how our conditions will be like organized for us? Now, let's see, uh, say, uh, so the kind of condition we will have is like X minus our array, say, say I'm uh, writing A, okay, the array name A. So A, and as you know, like the, we, in, in normal binary search, how do we do that? We find the mid and with respect to mid, we consider. So over here, let's consider a mid, fine. Uh, so let's consider mid. And then if X minus mid, uh, like X minus is mid. So that gives us the, this particular uh, distance, right? Now this can be less than or greater than with respect to what? This can be less than or greater than with respect to or sliding window that is a of mid, uh, right, mid plus k. So we have mid and mid plus k. So that's the window we are creating, fine. So that's the window we are creating and we are now trying to find out which one is like uh, greater. In case, in case, in case we find that x minus a mid is less than 
emit minus x. So what exactly it means? It means like here we have an uh, array. So say this one is emit, okay? So consider this emit, okay? And there's somehow like emit uh, plus k, fine. So that's a that's an element emit plus k. Now this is our array. This is a whole array we have, and there's a emit and there's emit plus k. Now we find that a x minus emit is less. That means we somewhere need to move towards left, right? So there can be two, three cases while moving to left. X can be over here, fine. That can be, definitely can be a condition. Now, X can be over here also while moving left, we, we may find that X is kind of right over, uh, like over here. That's definitely possible. So in such a cases, you can see, we need to move our window towards the left and we need to select our elements, okay? It, it's, it may be possible, like as you see in example number two, that X is not even in our uh, array, okay? So we are not moving out of the array because a mid is the index of the array. Like a like mid is actually pointing to indexes of our array, right? This binary search. So we are not going out of our array. So let's consider, let's not think of this. This will automatically be handled. Let's think of the conditions where X can be there. If X is on its left of a mid, okay? So uh, that obviously the distance is smaller than the distance from a mid plus K. So what do we need to do? We need to move over uh, emit towards the left, fine. Then, if our x is over here, over somewhere around here, then also we see that a distance with emit is smaller related to distance with emit plus k, right? So, in that case, also we need to find out that we need to move our window towards the left. So, this is the condition where we are moving the window towards the left, right? In the other case, what will happen? We will be uh, finding the like we will see the condition when our emit is uh, like greater than x. Like let's uh, draw it out. Let's just draw it out in the sense like a condition where x minus emit is greater than emit minus emit plus k minus x. Fine. So what it means? It actually means say our x is somewhere over here or our x is somewhere over here. If this is the case, fine. If this is the case, we are uh, like falling into, then what we need to do? We need to, as you see, the distance between X and emit plus K is smaller than the distance between X and emit, right? And the same is true for this, uh, whether X is towards like inside of that. You can see the distance is smaller and get right? So that's the thing. Now in, 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 in this kind of case, we need to move our, uh, this window towards the right, fine? But this is the whole concept behind this question. Now you've got a window, you need to move this window left or right. And once you are done with it, all the elements, including emit to emit plus k, are your answer. Are your answer that you are going to return, right? So this is the uh, like kind of the solution we will be looking for. Fine. Now let's quickly go ahead and write our code and understand how this actually works in our case. Fine. There is a, this is kind of a uh, nine, uh, nine millisecond solution. Let's understand what exactly it did. As I said, we uh, went through the uh, binary search in this. And further, we just took another list and then we just added the elements in our list. So what exactly we are trying to do is like, uh, say, uh, we got left zero, right? Array length minus K. So we just removed uh, K number of elements from the right, okay? Now in that, uh, so whatever elements we are left with, in, in that we try to find out like the mid. Mid is like the uh, current position we are trying to find. So by mid, if the mid becomes equals right, like mid equals the right, then also we know that mid plus k is a valid element okay? because we left out k number of elements from the class. So mid plus k is a valid element, fine. So in the mid, we just got a similar binary search method, left to side by two. Now we are trying to check x minus array of mid greater than array of mid plus k. So if that is the case, we should move our uh, elements towards the right. Like we should start, start checking the right. So it's just simply move for uh, left element into the mid plus one. Uh, and if uh, the other case is true, that is it is less. So that means less or equals. So that means we are moving a right element 
towards our uh, left okay uh, or we're just moving our window towards our left so this is what we're doing and finally after doing this we'll find out that uh, the a, a case will come up where left is not a lot less than right we'll move forward somewhere so wherever left we found out at the last we are starting from left and we ended up adding all the elements to our uh, uh, like uh, resultant uh, list or array list and finally return to array so this is a pretty simple solution uh, this can be understood uh, easily if you have still any doubts left with you make sure to comment them down if you look at the uh, like the complexity of this kind of code uh, then you can find out the complexity is like order of uh, login login as we know login being the uh, uh, like the complexity of binary search, but over here a bit uh, change is there. What the change is? Order of log of n minus k because you are not traversing the whole uh, k length, right? You, you just remove those k elements uh, initially. So n minus k. Now, if we talk of the space complexity, space complexity is something like order of k. That's what the k number of elements you took over here. So that's the space complexity. So I hope this can be understood. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel for regular HQ videos like this. Also, uh, comment them down. If you have any doubts related to the question, I'll be happy to help you out in the comments as well. So thank you all for watching this video. Hope to see you soon in my next video as well. Thank you.